in this lecture we will learn about returning pointers from functions okay so we will understand something about pointers and their relationship with functions so what can happen so we have a very interesting function which is known as full pointer okay so what is that full pointer doing so int star it's returning basically this definition says that it returns a pointer to an integer so very good but int temp is equal to 7 it says that there is a temporary variable here 7 which is stored in temp now it returns an address of that temp this now in main we define int star iptr and i call the full ptr which returns i'm expecting that it will return me some memory locations of that temp the problem here is it has a great pitfall now you know that whenever we call some function so what happens is that it gets its own stack okay so it gets some memory on the stack so i call a function it goes there in the stack so whatever the arguments is passed there whatever local variables are there so it writes some local this is the stack of this function say the full ptr and then it writes here that okay i have a temp variable which is of type int and its memory its value is 7 and let's say the memory location is 1050 then what happens it returns ampersand temp so this we expect that it will be returned but when this returns back to main the most important thing is that this whole thing goes away okay so this is gone now you have nothing on the stack so that is cleared or at least it's not guaranteed that it will be there okay so now what happens when you say that okay my iptr the value that is returned is 1050 so there might be nothing there there might be 7 if the computer lucky but there might be some garbage okay something like that okay some so what will happen now you will not guarantee that it will work for you and whenever it is most important your code is going to the client there it will fail it might work here as i was trying but it will of course surely fail when it goes to the client so if you write a code like this so you need to remember that you can return address of a pointer or a pointer only when you know that that particular memory is going to be there so for local variables inside a function you can never guarantee that okay so you should never do something like what full pointer is doing here but to remove this problem i can use static if i use a static int temp here then it means that stack that variable will be there even after the function has returned so static variable you can return the addresses of that other thing is that okay inside this if we are allocating memory on heap okay so heap is a different place than the stack where a function is called which is created so heap will be somewhere else and if you allocate memory on the heap even if you return the address here so after the function returns this memory will be intact so that can be used so this is the code so when you should return a pointer to a variable from a function and when you should not so that is discussed here so you should never return a pointer to a memory address of memory location of that of a local variable which goes out of scope you can use static if you want to do that or you can return pointer to a variable that is allocated on heap so i hope you understand this thanks a lot